today I'll be discussing Season 1 of Daredevil, and Seasons 2 and 3 in passing, so if you don't want spoilers for that, just skip the video, I guess. Just don't watch it, because I talk about a lot of Season 1 stuff. And I'll also be discussing Season 1 of Punisher. I decided to merge them into one episode, and why these are the best things to come out of Marvel ever. Daredevil stars Matt Murdock, played by Charlie Cox, who is a lawyer at a self-made law office. With the help of Foggy Nelson, played by Eldon Henson, and Karen Page, played by Deborah Wall, I think I said that right, who all try to take down Wilson Fisk, played by Vincent D'Onfrio, I'm just gonna, just gonna call it Vin Vincent because I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Um, throughout the show, they go on different trials with different witnesses to try to take Fisk down. They are able to do this with the assistance of Daredevil, who is secretly Matt Murdock, who at night beats criminals in order to get his way up to Fisk. Throughout the show, we see Fisk go through many different obstacles in order to keep his omnibity. But after many interferences with Daredevil, he goes public and makes the public love him. So Daredevil gets a key witness to testify against him. So Kimpin escapes and tries to kill Daredevil. Well, actually, he tries to escape, and then Daredevil finds him and they fight. And Daredevil beats and imprisons him. Now, on the other hand, we have Season 1 of Punisher. Played by John Berth Ber Bernthal, yeah, Bernthal, who, which follows Frank Castle, the Punisher, who, after the events of season two of Daredevil, is presumed dead. The Punisher is a man whose family was murdered, and he has made it his goal to kill whomever was involved. So he does it. He kills everyone who was involved in his family's murder and undergoes a new identity, working at a construction area. But after many events, he is brought back in to finish the job. There are more people who are linked to his wife and kid's murder. As he slowly discovers that the criminal underworld goes deep into the government, he has a partner named Micro, who has security on everywhere in New York. He has hacked into all local computers, phones, etc. As they uncover the secrets of Frank's Afghanistan mission, they try to return Micro to his family, who believes he's dead. As the show goes on, the, the world learns that these two are alive. So, the show concludes with Frank killing all the people involved in in killing his family, and he gets Micro back to his family. And the show concludes with him fighting his old Afghanistan partner right where his wife and kids died in one brutal beating, one to one. Just. You gotta watch the scene yourself. I'm not gonna put it on here, it's very bloody, and I don't feel like having it, but go watch it if you're okay with blood and all that. I don't got much to say. These two shows are as close to perfect as you can get. They are the best things to come out of Marvel. Well, I have my issues, and I will get to that. Daredevil is a great show on morality and whether or not you should decide whether someone lives or dies. While Punisher is not about if you should make that choice, it's whether you can. And to get justice. Um, Some things I like. I love Charlie Cox, I love Vincent, I love John. I, I love all the actors, alright? I was gonna list some specific ones, but nobody's acting as bad. They are all these characters. They are one with them. I, everyone just puts on such a believable performance. Um, I love the music, especially the Punisher's guitar intro, which I've used two videos in a row now. Um, the action is excellent. It's so realistic that I forget sometimes it's a show. That's just how investing it is. I love both sh how both shows end. While one ends with a vigilante becoming a hero, the other one ends quietly, with a man at war with himself just finally resting and being done. I did not like how in Daredevil and, to a lesser extent, Punisher, um, they have this filter over the camera, which I, I, it's really hard to see sometimes, and I don't like it. Um, in Punisher, it has some really gritty scenes, like it has like some overly bloody scenes, and it has some dirty ugh, scenes. Um, yeah, but that's it. That's really all the problems I have. Now let me talk about our two main antagonists, or the protagonist of the... Of the Punisher show, but the antagonist of the Daredevil show, if that makes sense. I think that I need a section on the two most complicated characters in both shows, and I think the best place to start is Fisk. He killed his father when he was only 12. His father was an abusive monster that made, made Fisk hurt and kill people, and his father was an abuser to, to his kid and wife, so Fisk did what he was taught to do. Keep kicking him. When when his father is beating on his mother, he grabs a hammer and finally kills him. And Fisk lives with that every day. 
he still lives with the burden of murdering his father. He honors him by wearing his hand clips that he wears on his sleeves, but when he looks in the mirror, all he can see is just the monster he is deep down, hammer in hand. And he never wanted to feel that powerless as he felt that day. So he built up an empire. He became a kingpin. He became the kingpin. And that's what made Wilson Fisk the kingpin. While Frank Castle is a completely different story, Frank served in Afghanistan and was made to do horrible things. He saw things and he did things he had to live with. And due to that, his family got caught in the crossfire and died. It isn't when his family died, he became the Punisher. It's right when he left the war. When he went into the war, he knew he would never come back the same. He might not have known at the time, but when he left, he knew he would never be the same. So he spent his life taking out those attributed to his family's murder. Mobs, colonels, old war buddies, you name it. Frank will never be done because the war he left in Afghanistan, it never left him. What can I say? Daredevil and Punisher are the best things that ever come out of Marvel. They just have so much heart and they are just so expertly written that some scenes, they genuinely make me cry. I'm going to make a video on Daredevil Season 2 through 3 and Punisher Season 2. But in the meantime, I'll see you around. Thank you all for the your subscribers. And I am working on something really special for you all. All right. Love you. Bye-bye. Okay, I really got to stop ending it like a phone call. How long have you been practicing law? What time is it? It's 12.22 a.m. About seven hours.